The numbers are in and Samsung just broke the internet. The Galaxy S26 Ultra isn't just fast, it's rewriting the rulebook of smartphone power. With the insane new Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 inside, early Geekbench scores are off the charts, leaving the competition in the dust. And trust me, you'll want to stick around till the end, because the leaks about this phone's performance display and that jaw-dropping cosmic orange finish will blow your mind. Hey, everyone, welcome back to Zadie S Tech. I'm Zadie, and today we're diving deep into the Galaxy S26 Ultra. From its record-breaking Geekbench scores to its next-gen display, and crazy new features that might make it the most powerful smartphone ever built. Samsung has unleashed a beast that redefines smartphone performance, driven by the all-new Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5. The Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra is powered by Qualcomm's latest Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 chip, built on TSMC's advanced 3 nanometers process with the new Orion CPU architecture. The Prime Core now hits speeds up to 4.6 GHz, pushing performance beyond anything we've seen before. In early Geekbench tests, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 scores around 3,831 in single core and 12,459 in multi-core, showing a massive jump over last year's Gen 3. That's flagship-level power across both raw speed and multicasting. On the GPU side, the new Adreno architecture brings a 20-23% to performance boost while using about 20% less power. That means smoother gameplay, higher frame rates, and far fewer drops during long gaming sessions. The upgraded Hexagon NPU is about 35-37% to faster, making on-device AI, camera processing, and real-time upscaling much more efficient. In real-world use, you can expect lightning-fast app launches, ultra-smooth multitasking, and professional-grade video editing, all while keeping better thermals and battery life. So, if these numbers hold true, the Snapdragon 8 Elite Gen 5 could make the Galaxy S26 Ultra one of the most powerful smartphones ever built. We finally have the first real look at the upcoming Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra, and it's absolutely stunning. These new images give us the clearest view of Samsung's next big flagship. And yes, it's bringing a color that's turning everyone's heads. According to Tipster Sample, these are the final design leaks of the Galaxy S26 Ultra, showcasing three elegant finishes silver, gold, and the all-new Cosmic Orange. And that's where the real shock comes in. Samsung's Cosmic Orange looks bold, premium, and incredibly refined, a shade that instantly separates it from every other phone on the market. The matte finish gives it a luxury feel, and the tone perfectly complements that clean titanium frame. According to the latest leaks, Samsung is testing software for the Galaxy S26 Edge and S26 Ultra, confirming that both will launch with One UI 8.5 based on Android 15. The Galaxy S26 Ultra, model number SMS 948X, has started firmware testing across multiple regions. S948 NKSU01J5, South Korea. S948 USQ01 J6, US, carrier variant. S948 U1 UD01 J5, US, unlock variant. S948 BXU01 J5, global version. According to Tipster Anthony, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is packing some serious upgrades under the hood. He mentions the best anti reflective layer, class leading performance, vapor chamber cooling, and more all packed inside an 8.2 mm titanium frame. That's an impressive combination, especially when you realize that Samsung is managing to keep the body sleek while improving thermal management and durability at the same time. Titanium is already known for being strong and lightweight, but pairing it with advanced cooling and a reflective layer means the phone isn't just tough. It's optimized for performance and comfort during long gaming or productivity sessions. And that's not all. Anthony also revealed what might be one of the biggest visual and usability upgrades, the touch sampling rate. He claims the S26 Ultra will jump from 240 Hz to an incredible 3,600 Hz, which is an insane leap forward. For context, a higher touch sampling rate means every tap, swipe, and gesture feels almost instantaneous perfect for gamers, artists, and anyone who values precision. Going from 240 Hz to 3,000, 600 Hz isn't just an upgrade. It's a whole new level of responsiveness that will make the S26 Ultra feel buttery smooth in every interaction. And while we're talking about visuals, another exciting reveal came from Chandon, who shared a look at the Galaxy S26 Ultra in a stunning new cosmic orange color. 
The matte finish combined with that vibrant orange hue makes it stand out in a world of dull black and silver devices. And honestly, it looks so clean and premium that even he said it certainly looks better than the iPhone 17 Pro Max. If that's the final color Samsung goes with, it might just become one of the most popular shades of the year. The S26 Ultra might just set a new standard for flagship smartphones in 2025. According to the latest reports, the Galaxy S26 Ultra will feature Samsung's brand new M14, supporting a blazing 144Hz QHD Plus refresh rate along with 3200Hz touch sampling. It also comes with Dolby Vision and HDR10+. When it comes to brightness, Samsung has raised the bar yet again. The panel can hit 2,600 nits full brightness, while HDR content pushes it all the way to a massive 6,000 nits peak brightness. On top of that, there's a brand new privacy display feature called Flex Magic Pixel for extra control and security, and a much better anti-reflective layer for crystal clear outdoor visibility. Meanwhile, Anthony pointed out that 6,000 nit peak brightness plus a better anti-reflective layer and new privacy display is going to make the Galaxy S26 Ultra a monster in display. In short, the Galaxy S26 Ultra display is shaping up to be a true monster and could set a brand new benchmark for smartphone screens, with leaks pointing to a new privacy display feature coming to the Galaxy S26 Ultra. Instead of depending on third-party screen protectors or bulky add-ons, Samsung appears to be building privacy protection straight into the phone's hardware and software. A recent leak from One UI 8.5 shared by ACH Ultra on X offers the first clear preview of how this feature will function. It's essentially a full system of settings designed to keep private content out of sight from anyone nearby. Based on leaked screenshots, users will be able to control the strength of the effect and decide when it activates. Samsung is preparing automatic triggers that can recognize crowded environments like buses, trains, or cafes, and then reduce the screen's side view visibility. The settings also include a custom conditions menu, which allows you to create your own rules. For example, you can set privacy to turn on automatically when opening banking apps or when entering a PIN on the lock screen. Leaks further suggest that the privacy display will let users decide which parts of the screen remain fully visible while dimming or blurring others. Notifications, pit windows, lock screen fields, and sensitive photos can all be hidden with an additional maximum privacy mode that makes the display even harder to read from angles. The system relies on Flex Magic Pixel technology, likely enhanced by AI to adjust pixels in real time and prevent unwanted viewing. And now Ice Universe shared a post on X confirming that the Galaxy S26 Ultra will include the S Pen with a fresh, stylish functionality. The notable update is that, just like the S24 Ultra, it will support all Bluetooth features, along with a few new capabilities that have not yet been revealed. There have been a string of leaks that suggest it's not something to worry about. The S Pen chamber can be made out very clearly in one of those leaks, providing a level of surety to fans that at least next year's flagship phone will retain the S Pen. In another post, ICE shared Samsung plans to urgently restart the Galaxy S26 Plus project. Due to the S25 Edge's below expected sales and the bleak future of the iPhone Air, Samsung has decided to revive the S26 Plus model. It's ridiculous. Samsung is now a pure speculator with no independent vision following Apple's lead. As a result, it had been led into a trap by Apple and forced to urgently revise their plans. It's ridiculous. Two days ago, Android headlines released renders of the S26 Ultra. Using these renders as a reference, we applied professional tools to generate images of the device. While not completely precise, they offer a close visual approximation. Let's take a look. Reports suggest the Galaxy S26 Pro will retain its familiar setup with a 50-megapixel wide, 12-megapixel ultra-wide, and 10-megapixel 3x zoom camera, though there are whispers of a new main sensor being tested. The big shakeup may come with the Galaxy S26 Edge, which could replace the Plus model. It might skip a dedicated zoom camera, but will reportedly see a major upgrade to its ultra-wide lens, jumping from 12-megapixel on the S25 Edge to 50-megapixel. At the top, the Galaxy S26 Ultra is expected to carry forward the same to 200 megapixel primary sensor, along with a 50 megapixel ultra wide and 50 megapixel 5x zoom camera. The secondary 10 megapixel 3x zoom lens might stay the same, though an upgrade hasn't been ruled out. 
Overall, Samsung appears to be betting more on AI-powered image processing and software optimizations rather than making huge leaps in camera hardware, a move that may not sit well with fans hoping for bigger changes. Here, we have the first look of the Samsung Galaxy S26 Ultra thanks to renders published by the folks over at Android Headline. The design will be instantly recognizable. Like the Galaxy S25 Ultra, the S26 Ultra maintains a flat frame with rounded corners. The device is expected to measure 7.9 millimeters in thickness, with the camera island extending about 4.5 millimeters from the body. This means the phone will likely wobble slightly when placed on a flat surface, something common in Samsung flagships, but only a centrally placed camera island can fully avoid it. The S Pen is also shown in the renders, located at the very edge of the bottom left corner. This adjustment appears to be a result of the slimmer build compared to the S25 Ultra, which was 8.2 millimeters thick. As a consequence, the S Pen's back end, often referred to as the clicker, has been redesigned. It's no longer flat, as an earlier leak indicated. Those expecting a bold redesign may be left underwhelmed. The Galaxy S26 Ultra may not introduce major exterior changes. It could stand out in actual use. Reports suggest it will feature Samsung's most advanced OLED display yet. Already seen on a rival device, this panel is rumored to provide much higher brightness levels and richer colors. Samsung is also reportedly testing a new privacy mode that narrows viewing angles, helping keep on-screen content private from those nearby. A new deal with South Korea's MC Next will bring a fresh-folded zoom module replacing Sony Optical, which previously supplied the S24 Ultra and S25 Ultra, but face quality and supply chain problems. Both models were widely criticized for underwhelming 5x zoom performance compared to Chinese rivals, and industry insiders suggest Sony Optical's issues were the root cause. By shifting supply to MC Next, Samsung aims to finally resolve these problems and deliver a sharper telephoto experience. The company is also developing a new, all lenses on prism technology that functions like a periscope camera, but takes less internal space, though it's uncertain whether this will debut with the S26 Ultra. Overall, this shift in suppliers signals Samsung's effort to restore consumer confidence in its Ultra flagship's zoom capabilities while strengthening its supply chain stability. And there you have it, Samsung's Galaxy S26 Ultra is shaping up to be an absolute powerhouse, setting new standards for performance display quality and innovation. If these leaks hold true, we might be looking at the phone that finally pushes smartphone tech into a whole new era. Thanks for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, hit that like button, subscribe to ZDES Tech, and turn on notifications so you never miss out on the latest flagship reveals and deep dives. This is Zadie, signing off. See you in the next one. Peace out.